It is the life we have upset down. Can you have time in the ghetto? I see heartache in no sunshine. No, no, no. But as I cry for that souls, but as leave it so young. If you live by the gold, then you gon' die by the gun. Way down in the ghetto. I see heartache in no sunshine. No, no. It's okay if you never shot you nobody It's okay if you never caught you nobody It's okay if you never popped you some molly Suicidal kamikaze catching homies like a hobby It's okay if you never bag you no dope If you never sold a kilo or some coke if you don't spin when none of your homies spin, they think life a joke and they ain't even your smoke. It's okay if you never jumped off the porch. You like playing sports, don't let them call you a dork. See the streets will never show no remorse. Coming full force, leaving them like a corpse. It's okay if you like living for the Lord. You like going to church. Don't let them get in your head. Who you think the dudes return to when they dead? Who you think the dudes crowd to when they scared? God. You tuning in live, come on, live and direct. But as I cry for that soul, I just leave it so young. If you live by the God, you gon' die by the Hey, married to the streets, even though she is thought. Look at all the seeds of people scattered on the block. Said that you a gangster, you a gangster till you drop. But trouble coming for you. Hey, whether you like it though or not. Died by the hands of another gangbanger. Caught him on the corner, he never should have been hanging. No ID on his body, so the corner couldn't name him. He been missing for some reason, then nobody even claiming. Burn every bridge, so you stiff with the love. Yeah. Swimming in your sin, you could drown in the flood. Man, you don't want to hear the preacher man preach. Salvation is at hand, though forgiveness is in reach. How you gonna stand on your business without some legs? That's what happened. When you, you let them in your head Who you think you return to though when you dead, huh? Same person you cry out to when you scared God down in the ghetto oh. I see heartache in no sunshine No, no, no But as I cry for their souls But as leave it so young If you live by the God Then you gon' die by the gun well, I see heartache and no sunshine No, no, no But as I cry for that soul But I leave it so young Give them heaven, you tune in with Brother Brian Everybody get your Bible out Oh In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You tuning in, give them heaven. Yeah. Live and direct, y'all. Something new, we're gonna wait till everybody tune in, man. Shout out to my nephew Kev. Ooh. Kaya, 
cry out, I need help, I need help, I can do it by myself. Hey, I need everything you are right now, Jesus. Everything you are right now. I need strength, I need peace, I need hope, I need joy, I need everything you are. This is what you tell the Lord, hey. I need everything you are right now. I need everything you are right now. Hey, kill my fleshly desire, man. This man is reborn. I set myself on fire just so you can be warm. These seeds I planted in faith, I watch them grow over years. In every seed I planted, hey, I watered with tears. You love to hear yourself talk, so I stay quiet when I'm amongst you. If the God life what you want, then it better be righteousness that you hunger. Man, you never say it's your fault, and you blame everyone in your circle. It ain't personal, man, it's spiritual. When I cut you off, it ain't hurtful. Love, I'm sick of the deliver people. They never deliver people. Always giving up on people. Always switching up on people. Man, quitting on the little people Here spitting on the little people Acting one way in Sunday pulpit Monday come, man, they different people I ain't think about a million dollars Man, I think about a million souls But the orphan, they don't have no father Or the widow, they don't have no hope Man, I'm thinking about the one who hungry Man, I'm thinking about the one who hurting Man, I'm thinking about the one who thirsted for mercy Think about the martyrs murder. I ain't thinking about a sold out show I care less about your ticket sales Man, I'm thinking about the one who strung out on dope Lost so many headed to hell Man, I'm thinking about the one in bondage i do anything to see them free With the blood of Christ, man, the love of Christ Say the devil, lead, yeah Everything you are right now Give them heaven, y'all I need everything, you all right I need hope, I need joy, I need peace, I need strength I need everything you are just to get me through the day And who you are right now, Jesus I need everything, you all right now This is what you tell them, y'all, look Kill my fleshly desire, man, this man is reborn I set myself on fire just so you can be warm these seeds I planted in faith, I watch them grow over years And every seed I planted, man, I watered with tears You love to hear yourself talk, so I stay quiet when I'm amongst you If the godly life what you want, then it better be righteousness that you hunger Man, you never say it's your fault, and you blame everyone in your circle It ain't personal, man, it's spiritual When I cut you off, it ain't hurtful, look Man, I'm sick of the religious people They never deliver people Always giving up on people, man. Always switching up on people. Quitting on the little people. He's spitting on the little. Hey, man, come on. Give him heaven, baby. Yo! Man, you tuning in with Brother Brian. I love you guys, man. I'm just thinking out loud, thinking out loud. Let's do some more. What's, some, what's another one? You tuning in, freestyle. I did this last weekend, man. I think I'm gonna make this a song. Y'all check it out, look. Hey, haters hating for no reason. Throwing salt, they forgot I was seasoned. I'm in a season for a block full of heathen. Lost in your thoughts, boy, your heart is deceiving. I can see you blaming God for your bleeding. Telling everybody where we're God when I need him. If you were breathing when you woke up, man, you blessed, man. God ain't leave you in the middle of your mess, man. Copycat come around and try to mimic us. You ain't got no oil in your life when you minister. You don't pray, you don't read, ain't no sacrifice. So it's okay for me to say you just rapping right. You in the hall of cap, that's a lot of cap. They don't call you back, boy, why you falling back? How you fall up in the church like you all of that? Fake tongues ain't tongue, what you calling that? I got a language up in heaven, it's an utterance. New covenant, baby, new government. Christ came, conquered death, then he done with it. And y'all was saved, saved from eternal punishment. Now I'm feeling like a brand new BMW. Just got back from Cali, brought it back to DFW. And you can never say the Father ain't got love for you. God loved the world, man, he sent his only son for you. Cloud Chaser always want a viral video. You don't read your Bible while your Bible in your video. 
homies always flexing for the internet I don't even follow you cause I ain't even in it that I spread the gospel, not the gospel of the disrespect Get up out my face, boy, your breath smell like cigarette uh, Boy, the blood took the sin from me Man, I said I wish I had my twin with me Yo, these haters hate it for no reason Throw us off, they forgot I was seizing In a seat and for a block full of heathen Lost in your thought, now your heart is deceiving I can see you blaming God for your bleeding Telling everybody where we're God when they need him If you were breathing when you woke him and you blessed, man Cause he ain't leave you in the middle of your mess, man Yeah, set free and forgiven Oh, baby, free and forgiven Give him heaven, y'all Tell him free and forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ Boy, I'm free and forgiven, yo uh, Man, they hate him for no reason Throwing salt, they forgot we were seizing In a seat and for a block full of heathen Lost in your thought, boy, your heart is deceiving Got me feeling like a brand new BMW Just got back from Cali, bring her back to DFW And you can never say the father ain't got love for you For God loved the world, he sent his only son for you uh, Boy, the blood took the sin from me Yo, I said I wish I had my twin with me Yo, boy, the blood took the sin from me I ain't got my twin with me, but man, I got my twin with me <laughs> give them heaven man you know what it is brother brown y'all tuning in get your bible out pull your smile out get your revival out nothing could put that fire out y'all ready hey <laughs> live and direct man we thinking out loud speaking out loud got me feeling like a brand new bmw took got back for cali brought it back to dfw Man, he sent his only son for you, yo, and forgiven, oh, uh, tell her free and forgiven, yo, free and forgiven, free and forgiven, baby, free and forgiven. Thank you, Lord, I love you, Lord, come on, man, I love you, Jesus. Yeah, free and forgiven, oh. Uh. All right, now check it out. God is good. God is good. God is good. Come on, man. Lord, as we enter into your gates with joy and thanksgiving, I'm just having fun, man. The music is nothing but a tool for admonishing, glorifying God, singing a song to testify how good he is. I don't know where you're from. I don't know if you're a knucklehead like I am and got saved and all of a sudden i don't know if you out there right now in the streets and you're in the trenches or maybe you're lost maybe you maybe you play church and you're not really the church but today's the day that you're like man i need real fire i need real oil in my life but well, today's the day that we all get serious and closer to god including me the bible is so beautiful man what, what, what the bible speaks about is crazy it's like crazy amazing because let me share something with you he speaks about for men will be lovers of themselves in the last days right lovers of money boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful unholy unloving unforgiving slanderers without self-control brutal despisers of good traitors headstrong haughty lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of god having a form of godliness having a form of church but denying its power and from such people turn away the bible says turn away from such people man it's going to be hard because if you had to turn away from evil in the world, you had to turn away from the world because the world's evil. So how do you stay amongst the world, but don't get consumed in the world for all of us? So as we begin to just preach and teach about who God is right now, I just want you to focus right now what's keeping you from surrendering. What's keeping you from surrendering to God? A relationship, a habit, a way of thinking, a broken heart. In Psalms 34, 14, the Bible says, Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. Listen, whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil. And your lips from telling lies Turn from evil and do good This is this is what we're, we're speaking about tonight Turning, departing from evil and doing good Turning from what's wicked and doing good 
It says, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil, those who do wickedness, to blot out their name from the earth. Deny ungodliness and we cultivate godliness. Amen. Denying ungodliness and cultivating godliness. This side of eternity, you will always be subject to temptation in some respect for they are common to man. First Corinthians 10, 13 says, watch yourself. Temptation succeeds when your heart is unprepared for it. So put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh in regard to its lust. That's in Romans 13, 14. Take control of your lust or desires and do not let them control you. Everything's not a demon, man. A lot of it is just self, no self-control, no discipline. Um, this is why we say killing our flesh. KMF, somebody said, what does KMF stand for? Killing my flesh. Saying no to my flesh. Denying myself and saying yes to the Holy Spirit. Saying yes to God. To live by the Spirit. To honor the Spirit. Because if we live by the flesh, then we'll gratify the, the, the desires of the flesh. And that's not what we want to do. Because when we say yes to the pleasure of the world, we're saying no to God who loves us. And so it's just not enough only to deny ungodly desires. You must also find your godly desires fulfilled in the Lord. Come on, somebody write that down. You must also find your godly desires fulfilled in the Lord. It's not enough to only deny them. You got you to gotta find what the, the purpose. You got to find your happiness in God, doing everything to the glory of the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart when you delight yourself in the Lord. Instead of looking for pleasures apart from God, delight yourself in the things of God. Delight yourself in the word of God. Delight yourself with the fellowship of God. Delight yourself in the presence of God. And he will give you the desires of your heart. And these selfish desires that we used to have, right? That you want a big house, you want to be known, you want to be noticed. And these desires begin to fade away the more time that you spend in the presence of God. Because you realize it's not about what you want. It's not about building your kingdom. It's not about building your following. It's not about what you want. You begin to see what he wants. And these desires are what you were created for. You were created to bring him glory in your time, talent, treasures, your gifts. And, and, and it's the most beautiful thing to be in the will of God. Because in the will of God, that's success. In the will of God, that's peace. You know what I mean? Some of you, you're chasing money. You're chasing goals. You're chasing these things. And when you get them, you're not even happy no more. You're not, you didn't, th when you get them, you're like, man, it's not what I thought it was. Being around these people, I thought if I, if I sat, if I was accepted by these certain crowds, it meant it's not what I thought I was. It, it's not what I thought it was. Uh, to have these materials and these possessions, to have this certain car, to have this certain image, it's not what I thought it was. And I'm empty inside. How can I be fulfilled? How can I feel satisfied? i tell you how, by doing the will of God, by being in his will, by saying yes to what he wants you to do. You might not have a following. Matter of fact, when you really come to God, you'll be persecuted. You won't be applauded. You won't be accepted by the world because you become an enemy of the world because what you speak is truth and what they live is deception. And the pleasure that they promote, we say no to. So now they look at you like something's wrong with you, but it's not. You're just standing for what is right. And you're honoring the God that you serve, his kingdom with no compromise. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. So don't feel guilty whenever you don't want to laugh at their jokes. Don't feel guilty whenever you want to drink what they drink. Don't feel guilty when you don't fight the way they fight. You don't respond the way they respond. Don't feel guilty. All you're doing is honoring the God that created you. You're honoring the God that you spend time in his presence. And it feels good to suffer for the right reasons it feels good to fight the right way it feels good to love the way he loves to forgive the way he forgives it feels good to give the way he gives freely to us it feels good and my soul is satisfied doing as i delight myself in the things of god as i delight myself in the will of god it's something that i want to do Avoiding tempting situations, y'all. Departing from evil and doing good. You have to avoid tempting situations. Does that make sense? <clears throat> the Lord Jesus taught his disciples to ask God, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That's in Matthew 6, 13. If you ask God to help you avoid temptation, then you should also be vigilant and stay away from tempting situations. Avoid the perilous path of the careless man who unsurprisingly walk, walk into sin with an adulterous woman that's in proverbs 7 6 through 10 simple-minded she said come here man 
And my husband went away. He took a, a bag of money. He won't be back for a couple of days. And the simple minded, he walks into her house as a sheep led to the slaughter, not knowing that in her living room is the guest of the dead. He sees, he sees sin, and instead of walking away from it, he walked into it. Don't be that person. There is consequence and destruction there. If you do find yourself in danger of sin, get out of there quickly. Come on, man. Get out of there quickly in the name of Jesus. Stay away from those who try to influence you to do evil. Please write this down. Put this on your, on your phone. Stay away from those who try to influence you to do evil. They're not your friends. I don't care if they laugh at your joke. I don't care if they pass you a blunt. I don't care if they pass you a drink. Just because you had a bad day, that doesn't mean that if they're influencing you to be wicked, if they're influencing you to, to live a life with, with no self-control, to live a life that thinks puts God last and, and God's not first, those aren't the friends you want. You want brothers who will pray for you, women of God who will pray for you, family of God that will pray for you, that will lead you closer to Christ, point you back to the things of God, stand on the word of God. You don't need someone to give you a Kalana pin, a Xanax to cause more madness or sadness in your life that will lead to a casket or a prison cell. You need somebody to tell you, hey, that is the wrong way. We are not not going to go that route that is a path that leads to destruction let's not go that route let's try the narrow path that leads to life let's trust God even if it hurts let's love even when it hurts let's forgive even when it hurts in the name of Jesus these are the people you want to surround yourself around the, the the counsel of the righteous because in it there is safety in the name of Jesus Christ amen David says how blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. People who mock God. Man, God ain't real. Man, like, you're God. You could be God, man. How do, how do you know it? Like, you don't want to be around people who doubt the presence of God, the power of God, and, and who he is. You don't want to be around people who do that, man. Scoffing God, mocking God. They have nothing for you. Psalm 1, 1 says, David, uh, David's son Solomon uh he gave this warning. He says, do not enter the path of the wicked and do not proceed in the way of evil men. Avoid it, he says, and do not pass by it. Turn away from it and pass on. That's Proverbs 4, 14 through 15. If you do find yourself in a dangerous sin, you got to get out there quickly. As a Christian, you are to flee immorality. Amen. First Corinthians 6, 18 says, and to flee from youthful lusts. Second Timothy uh, 2, 22 says, be like Joseph who ran from the adulterous advances of his master's wife. Genesis 39, 12 says, escaping from tempting situations, locations, and people do not yield to your ungodly desires and make every effort to subdue them from for righteousness sake. Matthew 5, 29, 30, you might need to abandon friendships sometimes with those who tempt you to do evil. Your relationships are serious. The Bible warns you. Who you, be, who you decide to be friends with is serious. Who you decide to spend time with is serious. The Bible warns, do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals, good manners. Who you hang around will influence you. The way they think will influence you. Their anger will make you angry. You'll become an angry person. You want to be friends with an angry man. Rude people, ungodly people, drunkards, liars. Now all of a sudden you become a lying drunk because that's all you hang around. 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 33. While you might be pointing these unsafe friends to God, take care that they do not lead you away from seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness. It's so easy to get caught up in it and you don't even know you caught up in it. Man, I was just trying to save them, man. I was just trying to, next thing you know, you smoking a blunt. Man, I was just going over there trying to be a good example. Next thing you know, man, I was praying for the sisters. I was praying for Next thing you know, you flirting with them. Next thing you know, you're vulnerable. Next thing you know, you opened up doors where now you're dishonoring your relationship with your wife or your husband. And most of all, your relationship with God. All because you were, you were putting yourself in situations where you know we're not godly. And you know we're going to lead to temptation, seducing, lust, coveting, wanting things that, that you're not supposed to have. Truly God is good to Israel, to such to as to such as are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet almost stumbled, my steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the boastful. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked, we know this person was a godly person initially because of a certain situation, right? When he says that, which almost caused him to stumble. In verse 3, he says, So we find that the peace within his heart was upset, even to the point where he wanted to leave God. So that 
That isn't evil when you become a set upset over evil things. It's evil when you let that bother you now because and all of a sudden it's it's affecting the way you act. It's affecting your character. Now watch this. Or to be caused to stumble because of evil is also an evil thing. That's why we must not worry or fret because of evil things of others. When you look at evil people and you're like, man, but they're prospering. Why, do, why are they rich? They don't have no problems. Why do the righteous have problems? Don't let that bother you to the point where you want to be evil because you think they haven't made. Trust me, they will have a time where they will have to answer for every thought, every action, every word, their attitude, their deeds, their motives, their agenda. They will have to answer to God one day. So do not get caught up in what they're doing. Focus on you. Work out your salvation with trembling and fear. Focus on you, what God has for you. If you look at the way other people live their life, you're going to end up stumbling. You're going to end up comparing, competing where well, they're not growing and I'm growing. Either you're better or you're not good enough. Don't do that. It's going to be hard for you to grow. Focus on your steps focus on the word of God let it be a light to your path let it be direction for you let it be every step for you and your attitude your motives and your agendas how you're doing it why you're doing it in the name of Jesus Christ to bring him glory amen trust in the Lord and do good dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness I'm gonna give you a, a, a very simple example if someone in the church is not treating you well sometimes it can really hurt you what must you do continue to do good you continue to do good on this person? Yes. This is how we can depart from evil. You don't get caught up in evil overcomes evil with evil. No, you overcome evil with good. Amen. Psalm 35, 7 says, For without cause they have hidden their net for me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. So we find that our focus must be on God at all time, whether we are in, in, in peace or in trouble, or whether we are well treated or ill treated by others. We have to focus on on God at all times. Keep your focus on God. Trust in the Lord. This is how you could depart from evil. First Thessalonians 5.22 says in this verse, the apostle Paul wrote, abstain from all appearances of evil. In 1 Peter 2.11 says where Peter wrote, dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. How do you depart from evil? It's by his power and his grace. To begin with, it is important to keep our focus on doing what is good and to keep our trust in Jesus. He is our strength and help. It is by his power and grace that we ultimately remain secure. We are to live our lives unto him. Amen. Romans 14, 8. As Christians, everything we do and say should be a reflection of who we are in Christ. 1 Corinthians 10, 31 tells us whatever we do, do it to the glory of God. So let us live in a way that brings him glory and stay away from evil. Depart from what is wicked. Amen. What's another way you could depart from evil? Meditate. Meditate on word. Meditate on the word of God. Meditate. Concentrate. Feed yourself. Focus on this. This is going to help you. This is food. This is instruction. This is a weapon. This is water when you're thirsty. This is food for your soul when you're hungry. This is the way to cleanse your mind. It changes your way of thinking. This is what you want right now, man. So you don't think the way you used to think, nephew. So you don't think the way you used to think, mama. So you don't think the way I used to think, oh, brother Brian. Hey, this helps us. Because if we don't, we're going to let the world shape us. If we don't, we're going to let counsel from the outside shape the way we think, the way we respond. So we got to focus on God's word. Meditate on God's word. The unsaved world around you entices and even pressures you. It, it pressures you to follow along with its wickedness. The Apostle Paul highlights the, the essence of the battle and its solution. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what the will of God is, that is which is good and acceptable and perfect how will you know what honors God if you don't get in the word how will you know what honors God if you don't meditate on what's good how would you know how to please him if you don't find the heartbeat of heaven right here the heartbeat of heaven the love letter how he thinks about you if, if anybody can come tell you this is what you are no 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 I focus on this mirror this tells me what God thinks about me this tells me what my plan and my purpose is this tells me which way to fight for my family how to fight for my family not to give up on the things for my family this will show me how to train my kids in the way of the Lord focus on God's word and depart from evil amen now watch this Sin is deceptive. It promises what it does not give and it gives what it never promised. How can you be transformed by the renewing of your mind? By filling your mind with the word of God. The Bible and the psalmist said, Your word I have treasured and hid in my heart that I might not, what? Sin against you. Remember how the Lord Jesus fought the temptation of Satan by repeatedly quoting the scripture he had hidden in his heart. The apostle Paul gives two pair uh, uh, two commands about spiritual growth. He says, be filled with the Holy Spirit. 
and let the word of God, the word of Christ richly dwell within you. That is, as you fill your heart with God's word, the Holy Spirit enables you to obey God's command. Come on, y'all. So when you walk by the spirit, you will not carry out the desire of the flesh. That's what we were talking about. Sin is deceptive. It promises what it does not give and give what it never promised. Conquer deceit with the truth of God's word. Come on, y'all. Hashtag that. Conquer deceit with the truth of God's word. If you have a specific temptation that you frequently face, now watch this. Be sure to memorize scripture that confronts that sin directly. Also, rest in the knowledge that satisf satisfaction and joy comes from God himself. You will make known to me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. In your right hand there are pleasures forever. That's in Psalm 16, 11. How do you depart from evil? You got to know good from evil. One of the biggest challenges we face today in the world is the ability to recognize and discern what is evil. So many in the church today accept what is evil as good. We've allowed the world to influence, influence us more than we're influencing the world. Isaiah 5.20 warns us, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. The ability to know good from evil is a matter of spiritually maturity. Being mature in the spirit, having discernment. Hebrews 5.14 says, And that comes from taking in the word of God. Be wise. Come on, y'all say, be wise. We need to be wise and stop constantly putting ourselves in situations where we're faced with greater temptations of evil and in situations we know we shouldn't be there. We shouldn't be in hanging with the wrong crowd, thinking, listening to the wrong things, going to places we know we shouldn't be and doing things that compromises our conscience. Jesus said, be separate, be sep separated from evil. Jesus had an even stronger it, um, uh, he had an even stronger word when it came to this. He said he didn't just say avoid evil. He told us to completely separate ourselves from it. Matthew 18, 8 says, he said, throw it away. Get it out of your life. Stay away from it. And anything that causes you to fall, whatever it is that tempts us, potentially causes us to fall, we need to separate from it. Things to help you stay away from evil. We don't need to fear evil or be shocked by the presence of evil and the temptation that we face. We simply need to recognize there is evil. Know that God is not the cause of evil and reject it. Here's some things that can help you stay away from evil. Submit into God. Submit yourself then to God. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Here's another way to depart from evil. Stay in the full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Here's another way to stay away from evil. Stay active in prayer and the word. The prayer of a righteous person has great power and it is working how do you stay away from evil stay out of strife stay out of pride stay out of selfishness being self-centered for where envy and strife is there is confusion in every evil work i encourage you to take a serious look at your life right now every single one of you get rid of anything that's tempting you wrongly or causing you to fall separate yourself from those things situation and people that is bringing you closer to wickedness you need to get away from it go closer to god right now you can stay away from evil by staying submitted to god you can stay away from evil by by putting the full armor of God on, staying in prayer and staying in the word of God and staying away from strife, pride, and selfishness. That's how you depart from evil. In the name of Jesus, these are things that help you. Amen? Here go some questions for you. Let me, ask, let me ask you some questions. We got 818 people on here. Let me ask some questions. You ready? Have you ever known someone who stained his testimony, stained her testimony because contact with a place, contact with action, language, or relationships gave the people the impression that he or she was doing something inappropriate? And these are believers. Do you know somebody like that? Have you ever done that? Have you ever put yourself in a situation where there was evil and now people are looking at you like you're not really saved because you could have avoided it, but you didn't? I could think of I, I could think of times that I I slipped up and, and put myself around people in places like that where people could have looked at me and said, "Hey man, I thought you saved, brother Brian. Well, I thought you were man. I thought you were sold out to Christ, especially in the beginning of my walk. Man, double-minded, up and down, unstable in all his ways, like a dog that returned to the vomit, tossed back and forth." My family, man, I know my family got tired of hearing me say, I, I believe in Christ. I believe in Jesus. And then the next minute, man, I'm shooting guns and smoking blunts. And, and they're looking at me like, and then, then when I really meant it, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I repent, God, for staining uh, my testimony, for making it look taint, making it look like the power of God ain't real in my life. 
and then expecting everybody to accept when uh accept the jesus in me when i was ready to surrender i repent god and the enemies he's cunning you don't think the enemy knows that you don't think the enemy wants to come and, and take that testimony from you and make it look like it's watered down and it's not real here goes another question you ready are there any areas and actions in your life right now that others might perceive to be questionable be honest with yourself what are those areas and what steps should you begin to take to put distance between yourself and future accusations that can lead to compromise drifting and make other people doubt you're even saved ask yourself that when people jump in your car right right you church you jesus this jesus that when they jump in your car and then they they hear what you really listen to or maybe when they go to your house and they watch what you really look at what entertain what type of movies you pick at the movies what type of jokes you joke about there's things in all of our lives that we can look and say man there's areas of where i can i can distance and separate myself from these things because I want to honor God and I want people to look at my life and I don't want accusations. I don't want people to doubt the God that I serve. I want them to see of oil. I want them to see a one who pursues purity and holiness in the name of Jesus that I depart from evil and do good. This is for all of us today, including me. Come on, let me see. Let me see every, we're 865 of us right now. Come on, hashtag depart from evil. Be reconciled to God. That's how you depart from evil. For those who've been walking away, come back to God. According to the Bible, your first step in overcoming temptation is to turn to him in repentance and faith. Acknowledge that Jesus, that only Jesus, the Christ, can make you right before God. He died in your place to satisfy the just wrath of God against your sin. And he rose from the dead to prove that the debt was paid. Your first step in overcoming temptation is to turn to him in repentance and faith. You see, apart from Christ, all people are enslaved to sin. We obey sin's desires and attempt to live apart from God's righteousness commandments. But thanks be to God that through, that through you, Jesus, you look, we were slaves of sin and we became obedient from the heart to that form of teaching to which you were committed and have been freed from sin. You, you became slaves of righteousness, it says in Romans 6, 17 to 18. As a believer in Jesus, give thanks that the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from temptation. 2 Peter 2, 9. How do you find that rescue? Turn away from sin and turn to God. Remember that we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness, but one who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need that is in hebrews 4 15 through 16 he understands man confess your faults to him and commit to repentance each day as a slave of righteousness seek to please god in everything you think say and do pray for his protection and strength to endure the temptations you face daily in the name of jesus christ depart from evil hashtag that depart from evil how do you depart from evil? You got to keep an eternal perspective. You are accountable to God. Somebody hashtag this, please. I am accountable to God. You might not want to be accountable to your pastors or to your leaders or whatever, but you are accountable to God. When you recognize that, then you'll submit to other people. So please, please say this out. Say this out loud. Everybody, I am accountable to God. Come on. You, was a, you let the, the dope boy hold you accountable. Paid money whenever he said, I need my money by Friday. You let that vato hold you accountable. Some of y'all wouldn't even visit your family. He, he didn't like your family, so he wouldn't even let you go see your family. You let that dude hold you accountable. You let that drug hold you accountable. You let that drug dictate your life, ruin your family, mess up your household. Come on, in the name of Jesus. Now that you're saved, you're accountable to God. Let me hear you say it. I am accountable to God. While you might be able to hide your sin from other people, know that the eyes of the Lord are in every place watching the evil and the good. That's Proverbs 15, 3. Would you feel comfortable quenching your ungodly desire if Christ were with you at the time? And he is present with you through his spirit. So avoid sin and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption when Christ returns. Ephesians 4, 30. Under the sun... 
mentality and instead to remember what happens in God's eternity. You got to shun evil, y'all. He says the conclusion when all he has heard is fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God and keep his instructions because this applies to every person. For God will bring every act to judgment, everything which is hidden, whether it's good or evil. You got to choose eternal rewards over temporary pleasure that is contrary to God's plan for your life. The long-term reward of excellence and integrity are more than worth the effort. You got to wait on the Lord and keep his commandments. Wait on the Lord and keep his way. Waiting on the Lord implies the, you, you realize his presence, the expectation of his commands. You're ready to obey. Special favor of heaven, the special guardianship of God. He is your father. You want to honor your dad. The Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever. Deliverance from the power of the wicked. The Lord will not leave him in the hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. The truth of this is realized in the experience of all good men after death. Guess what? God saves his righteous. God comes back for his righteous. The wicked will pay their penalty. They, they, might, they might have fun on earth and think they got away with their sin. But one day you will have to pay for the sin you committed. One day you will have to, you will have to face judgment. I would rather die to self daily. Suffer for the right reasons. Than stand before a righteous God who says, job well done, faithful servant. Come in. A place of peace and rest for eternity. You see what I'm thinking? The earthly perspective is not bigger than than the eternal reward that awaits us. Some of you think, man, what am I doing this for? Why am I doing this? It doesn't even matter to me. I'm, I'm, I'm following, I'm, I'm not doing, I'm not getting in trouble. I'm not, I'm not doing all this stuff. What, 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 what good is it if God's not going to reward me on earth? But guess what? That's being selfish. You want something right now? Peace, man. Peace. Don't you want peace that surpasses all understanding? I'm protecting my peace, man, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me pray right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'm praying for everybody that's tapping in right now. Every family represented in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. I thank you, Father God. I, I pray right now for those who are struggling to depart from evil, those who are playing with evil, those who know it's evil and they're still dipping and dabbing, Lord. I ask right now that you'll bring conviction to that heart right now. I pray that this message is convicting those who are sleeping in sin, swimming in sin, Lord, knowing that they could die and drown in sin. I pray right now for an increase, Lord, of who you are and Incite their life. Bring your son and your daughter back home. I pray, Lord, for those who have areas of their life, Lord, where they've welcomed temptation. They've welcomed seducing spirits. They've welcomed these things that can bring confusion and chaos to their life. That today that they will have strength to say no and start closing the doors, separating themselves from people, from habits, from things that will hinder their growth. I'm praying right now for the children that need prayer. I'm praying for your church. I'm praying for those, Father, that you've chosen, your bride, that you'll strengthen your children in these areas, Lord, when evil seems like it's winning, God, when the wicked seem like they're stronger, Lord. But I pray that you remind them with the word of God, remind them about the miracles, remind them of the times you saved them, Lord, that they can dwell on the good things, focus on the things that are above, Lord, and not give up this race that their love will not grow cold, that their hearts will not drift from you. I pray, Lord, that they'll turn to you, Lord, and seek and pursue you with all of their heart. I'm praying for those who are fighting for their marriage right now, those who are separated from their spouses right now, that you'll bring them back stronger than ever. I'm praying for the families that are divided right now, Lord, that you'll bring the families into unity and love. I'm praying for my, my kids, my children, my grandbabies. I'm praying for the situations, the silent requests that you know I have on my heart, God. I'm praying that you'll have your hand in this situation, Lord that you'll be protector, provider. You'll be everything that they need that I can't be at this moment, even being from a distance, Father God. I pray, Lord, that you'll hear the prayer of the righteous, Father God. You're my righteousness, God. So I claim these things that you have for me and my family, God. I pray for the protection, God, for the deliverance, God. I pray right now for complete healing and freedom, God. I pray right now for favor over my nephews, favor over my daughter, favor over my kids, favor over my wife, Father God, that comes from heaven and heaven only as we say yes to you, God, knowing that your promises are true for your children. I'm praying for my 
enemies right now, God. Those who don't know you, those who are filled with bitterness and jealousy, God, I'm praying that you soften their hearts. I'm praying that you fill their hearts with love, that you bring them back to the identity that you have for them before they were born, Father God. The, the identity that, and the purpose that you have for them, that they'll walk in that, Father God. I'm praying for the ministry, God, that you entrusted us with. God, you know everything we need this season, God. You know the goals we set, God. You know, you know the things that we want to do for your kingdom, God. Whatever you have for us, Lord, we say yes. If it's something you don't want us to do, then close the doors, Father God. Separate us from people that, that only come with hidden motives and agendas. Keep us protected, Father God, from the greed. Keep us protected, God, from hidden sin or compromise. Keep us protected, God, from anything that would try to come and divide. Lord, I pray right now for your protection. I pray for a, a wall of fire around every household, every leader, Father God, that you have us, Lord. That there'll be the fear of the Lord. There'll be holiness and purity, Father God. There'll be unity in the marriages, Father God. There'll be good stewardship of finances, God. That there'll be good health in all of my brother's life right now, all of my sister's life right now. I'm praying right now, Lord, for every blessing you have for them with their first and their last name. And I'm not talking about material or financial. I'm talking about the spiritual, Lord, revelation that comes from heaven, the mysteries of heaven that only revealed by your Holy Spirit, Lord. Have your way with Kingdom Music Ministry, Father God. Connect us to what is of you. Connect us to what is kingdom. And whatever is not of you, God, disconnected Father God cut the silver cord Lord cut anything that would try to entangle us in any type of affair that's not of you Father God in the name of Jesus I'm praying for those who are in the hospital right now Father God healing hand over them right now in the name of Jesus God let your healing hand heal them right now God I know you're able Lord I know you're able, so I just thank you right now. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Father God. Remove any sickness from their body, any cancer. Dry up every tumor, Father God. Every spirit of infirmity and sickness, Father God. Remove it from the body, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for healing. Thank you, Father God, for freedom. Thank you, Father God, for having great concern and care of every detail of our life in the name of Jesus. I'm praying right now, Father God, for the gang members out there, for the trap boys. The dope boys, those who selling drugs, those who are caught up in a lifestyle of greed, lifestyle of violence and murder, Lord. That you'll soften the heart of the gangster and the killer, Father God. That they'll drop their gang flags and their affiliation, Father God. That they'll drop their pistols, Father God. That they'll flush their drugs, Lord. Every neighborhood where the enemy has blinded them and deceived them, Father God, with this lifestyle. I know that rage. I know that chaos. I know that confusion. Well, but the light of Christ comes through that darkness. The darkness has to flee. When the name of Jesus comes through them neighborhoods, the demons have to tremble. They have to bow down. So right now, Father God, release who you are in these neighborhoods, Father God. All through Texas. All through America. Father God, all through the prisons, Father God. I'm praying right now that you touch that shot caller's heart, God, that he renounces his affiliation. He begins to serve you, live for you like he lived for the streets. His allegiance will be turned to you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. They begin to fight a way that honors you, loving the way that honors you, forgiving their enemies, Father God. I pray right now for those who have committed murders and crimes and hideous things, Lord, and the enemy says he'll never be forgiven. God doesn't want to hear your prayers. God, I'm praying right now that you'll show them that forgiveness is in reach. That healing is in reach. That freedom is in reach right now. In the name of Jesus, set the captives free right now. The blood of Christ, the love of Christ, softens the heart and heart right now. In the name of Jesus. Let this anointing break the yoke right now. Every drug addict, every alcoholic, every liar, Father God, every greedy person, every prideful person, every warlock, every witch, all those who are listening underneath the sound of my voice, I pray for conviction right now to hit their hearts, Lord, that they will have a godly sorrow and come to true repentance right now and bow down to the name of Jesus. Surrender right now to what Jesus has for your life. Believe he is the only one that can save you. There is no other way to the Father. There is no other way. It it's through the name of Jesus, the person of Jesus right now. Complete freedom, salvation that's free. You don't have to pay for this. He paid your debt. It's already paid for. Just receive it by faith. Pursue his purity right now by faith in the name of Jesus. Have your way, King Jesus, heaven in every household. Heaven in every household, heaven through every Android, heaven through every iPhone, every tablet, every computer that's watching right now. Release your Holy Spirit right now. Let them feel the peace of Christ right now as we say yes to you, Lord. Yes to your ways right now. 
praying for healing over my over my pops mike papa mike's knee right now complete healing and recovery over mike's knee right now father god thank you for pops in my life lord thank you for mama in my life lord bless their household father god bless them in the full abundance bless uncle bubba in the full abundance bless pa popo in the full abundance lord I'm praying for the fear of the Lord in the house of my sister. The fear of the Lord in my house of both my sisters. I'm praying for peace over my nephew's mind right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for who you are. We say yes to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know every prayer, supplication, and request. I see all, it's 936 of us online, all of us right now, all together, 936. God, you know what each family needs right now, from finance to healing to freedom, from broken hearts that need to be healed, from emptiness to emptiness that needs to be filled. You know what they need in every area. I stand in agreement to your perfect will over their life right now in the name of Jesus. I do not beg for the miracle. I believe in the miracle. I rely on the miracle, and I know that you'll meet them where they're at right now. So in the name of Jesus all 936 cry out to Jesus say save me from me right now whoever should call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved right now ask for more ask for more peace ask for more humility ask for more of his Holy Spirit inside of you say I need all of you right now not saying that, that you never had it just receive it and walk in the fullness of God that's all you have to do walk in the finished work what he did at the cross it's done you can't add to it what he did is over with just walk in it believe it's done believe it's already finished for you man some of you don't believe it i'm saying it's done it is done right now in the name of jesus put on the full armor of god and depart from evil depart from what is wicked and pursue the purity of christ in the name of jesus i just thank you for saving my family i thank you for saving my soul and i love you and i love you and i love you lord you guys are tuning in to give them heaven I feel the peace of Christ, man. I just wanted to get on here, edify you guys, point you to who need, who gets the glory, point you to what matters most, Jesus. Yo, we got so much going on with the ministry right now, y'all, man. Beautiful things happening, man. Guys, if you guys, if you guys have not tapped in, women, men of God, if you have not got your wife a women, KMF Women Conference ticket for this year, women of God, if you have not signed in, this is a, an important time that you go ahead and, and start getting the info because it's going to be a, be a beautiful praise and unity with the KMF Women Monica and, and all the leaders and and you guys, man. I just wanted to, I wanted to get on here. I told her that I was gonna um, I was gonna help uh, tonight to, to promote it and, and let people know where to go. I believe that all the sisters, all the nieces, all your all your all the all the women should be there just praising God together, man. This is beautiful. They do it every other year. It's beautiful to see the the praise reports and the unity and the love and the sisterhood in the name of Jesus and how they honor King Jesus. And you guys, man, so it's the Praise and Unity, the KMF Women Conference 2024. It's going to be a Victory Church. It's going to be in Fort Worth, Texas. You can, if you're flying in, it's, it's easy. Just get you a DFW. Tickets are cheap. You can just fly straight in. March 16th, doors open at 10 a.m. If you want to sign in and get your tickets, they're available at www.kingdommusic.org. Go to the Kingdom Music uh, Women's Conference 2024. This is something that you want to invest in your wife, invest in your sisters. I'm sending my mom out there. I'm, I'm sending uh, other people out there. Like, this is something that I, I believe that they should be there. And so it's beautiful. If you guys want to be a part of it, go to kingdommusic.org, www.kingdommusic.org. And it's the Kingdom Music Women's Conference 2024. Shout out to all the sisters. Shout out to all the hard work that everybody's doing behind the scenes. Super proud of each of you guys, man. Beautiful to see what you're doing. Another thing I want to I want to help promote is someone that I love that's special to me. My brother, he's hard. He does all these things behind the scenes for the ministry, but he has his own clothing 
his own website and everything. That's my brother Bryant, y'all. And you can go to his website. Look at these, look, look at these nice stuff. He does, he does a lot of the logos and designs, but he has his own website and it's uh, eternalfaithapparel.org. Eternalfaithapparel.org. Shout out to my brother Bryant. You should follow his ministry as well, man. Shout out to uh, B. That's he. Go to his website. It's eternalfaithapparel.org. Love you so much, soldier. We have the fundraiser for the uh, for the Kingdom Music that we're doing. You guys can uh, always go to www.kingdommusic.org and you can partner with the ministry. The eight departments that we have, we have a, 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 a set goal that we're trying to get so we can get things done and we don't have to uh, worry about this year and what we're going to do. So if you guys want to help us reach our goal, go to www.kingdommusic.org and help us reach the goal, man. I love you guys. I'm asking that God uh, partners and connects us to the right people. The right people with no hidden motives or agenda. God has always separated me from people that try to separate me from him. And I'm grateful for the protection. Departing from what is wicked. And pursuing what is good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You guys are tuning in to Give Him Heaven with Brother Brian. I'm not going to keep you long tonight. I just wanted to share some truth. Pray with you guys. And uh, I, I, I pray I'll be in California this weekend. I got a Gil, Gilroy, California. I think on Saturday or Friday And then Sunday I'll be preaching in Merced With my uh, uh, Living Word headquarters in Cali With Pastor Fernando and Pastora Lopez Shout out to them And then uh, Shop Talk in Sacramento uh, On Monday Shout out to the brothers of Shop Talk Then I'll be with Pastor G At Victory Outreach on Tuesday uh, That's going to be beautiful That's Sacramento for two days And um, <clears throat> Gilroy, Merced And Sacramento and then I'm back home, man. Come on, my boys got a uh, basketball. So shout out to my nephews. Shout out to the family. Shout out to my beautiful wife. Keep money in prayer. She wasn't feeling good. All of us got sick last week. I couldn't go to uh, prison or Texas. My baby got what I got. It was like a like a viral infection with a cough, man. It was all bad, but she's doing better. And, you know, I thank God for that. Um, you know, man, you got to thank God for your health, man. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. I love you. Jesus loves you, man. You guys stay connected to the King of Kings, man. This is Give Him Heaven Podcast with Brother Brian. I pray this encourages you, edify you, and, and challenges you to, to continue to, to do what's right. Continue to live a life of holiness, pursuing purity, and walking in the finished work of Jesus, man. Tuesday nights, man. Monday, we have Bible studies. Tuesday night, servanthood with Pastor Fred uh, Lopez. I mean, uh, Mendez. And then we have um, uh, Wednesday, Give Him Heaven. And Moni will be doing her Thursday podcast and Antoine doing his soon as well. So I love you guys. Jesus love you guys, man. I salute you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, man. Give Him Heaven.